Telesales Mastery 3.0 Happy Success Saturday. I'm your host, Cody Askins. I have a, I'm having a blast doing this with you every single Saturday. I wake up on Saturday looking to get better at my craft. I get up on Saturday looking to improve. I get up on Saturday thinking creatively, thinking outside the box, thinking, where can we move this thing? Where can, how, how fast can we get there, right? How much more can we go? How can we do? Where can we go? I don't know about you guys, but I am someone that is never satisfied, okay? Now, that, that's good, right? That's also probably not good, okay? But naturally, I know I can always get better. I know that I'm one of those coachable people on planet Earth. I know that that if you spend time doing stuff like this, like I just found a podcast earlier that I have not heard, okay, that I am going by, by, by Billy Jean and, and, and GC that I have not heard, but I'm going to go listen to later today because I know I can get better, okay? One of the things that I want to walk you through in a second is the importance, okay, because we're, we're going to walk through a bunch of objections today. I'm going to do live role playing. I'm going to give you a ton of examples, and I'm going to actually go through the importance of personal development in just a second before before we actually get to objections, all right? But before we do that, I want to do a few things, okay? Number one, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being on these webinars, right? I, I want to thank you for being a part of these every single Saturday. Collectively, we've had, we've had over 2,000 insurance agents join us over the last couple of weeks. It's been unbelievable. And, and that's a thanks to you for showing up because a lot of people right now in our industry are not showing up, okay? I'm a believer in that. I know that to be true. I know that you know that to be true. Right now, we have an opportunity to grab market share, to stand out, to move forward, or we have an opportunity to, we, we, or, or we have an opportunity to retract, to slow down, to retreat and to maybe not do something big. I'm here to tell you the opportunity is here to do something big and I'm jacked up about it. I'm excited about it. We're doing the 8% Nation virtual conference for 10,000 agents next Saturday, which means we will not be doing this next Saturday, okay? Because we'll be doing the 8% Nation virtual conference. And we're doing that because I want to get back to the industry. I got some massive names. I'm telling you, some of the best speakers on the planet are going to be on the virtual conference, and you do not want to miss that, all right? So before we jump into objections, because I'm going to go ahead and let you know what, what I'm going to cover today. I have an agenda, right? I'm prepared, I'm ready, and I hope you are too, because I guarantee you this today, today will go down as one of the best single insurance sales trainings that you've ever been a part of. I'm confident, and I'm certain on that. So you do not want to miss the next hour to hour and a half. Okay, so here's the agenda. We're going to go through objections, the psychology of objections, human nature, several examples, several things about when I ask people questions, the, the hypotheticals, always finish with follow-up question, an example with a big company I was talking to, the three A's, how to pivot, how to picture an objection, what to do when you get one, how to handle one what to say, when to say it, why to say it, how to say it, and actual live role playing on how to overcome objections in telesales, all right? It's, it's important, it's important that you become a master of this phone sales thing. Even if you wanna go back to face-to-face -face after, right now is the best time to get great at something, whether you're great at it or not, okay? I'm adding some fingerprints to my newly cleaned uh, glass here, okay? But, but today, I'm gonna cover a lot of those things. Also, I wanna mention, I wanna mention, we've had over 200 agents join our new Telesales Mastery membership. We've now got over 105 lessons in that membership. We are adding stuff every single day, okay? And I would love for Brett, Andy, I would love for Brett, who, who's watching, to actually put in chat the various things that we added over the last week that weren't in there a week ago. I'm committed to filling up that Telesales Mastery membership with tons of amazing stuff, okay? If you ever have an idea 
for something that you want us to add, email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com. I will happily find it, even if it's, hey, I, I'm using this vendor and I want a discount, or hey, I'm using this CRM and I want a discount, or hey, I'm using this live transfer company and I want a discount, or hey, you know what, I would like for you to do, because we're about to add mortgage protection phone sales training, like we're adding stuff constantly. We, so far, we've been adding multiple things every single day, and we're gonna only continue to add more as we go. Okay, so we've added the telesales contest to the membership. We've added tons of Medicare scripts and other resources, all right? Thank you, Brett, for adding those into the chat, along with a bunch of other things, all right? We're getting, we're also, one of the things, one of the things I gotta mention is we're doing a telesales champ contest. That is in the membership. I'm giving away $1,000 and a live interview with me in here. And I'm giving away two premier tickets to 8% Nation. $1,000 cash. Attention in front of tens of thousands of insurance agents and companies around the country and around the world, okay, with the interview. And two tickets to 8% Nation 2020. By, and, and the way you enter that contest is you submit an audio recording, an audio recording of you either making a sale or attempting to make a sale. You submit that audio recording, which will remain extremely private. We're even going to edit it before we add it to the membership, okay? So, so no one will know any personal information of, of, of your client, okay? We're going to edit it, but what you do is you submit that audio recording to danielle at codyaskins.com. Again, danielle at codyaskins.com to enter that make some notes today. I'm gonna release a bunch of new stuff today. Email that recording, audio recording to Danielle at CodyAskins.com. Okay, and that will get you entered. Right now, there's not a hundred agents yet that are entered in that. So you actually have a pretty good chance because we're giving away prizes for first, second, and third. Also, also, if you join the membership today. During this webinar, if I'm about to get to objections, if you join the membership today, right now, the new Telesales Mastery membership, if you haven't joined and you join it today, okay, if you've already joined, you're going to get this stuff too, okay, because I'm, I'm never going to offer something additional that you're not going to get, okay? What you're going to get is I'm going to waive the $300 joining fee for anybody that joins the membership today. Brett, thank you for putting it in chat, okay? That's the link to join the membership. I'm waiving the 300 bucks. I'm giving it away. Okay. I'm also going to add one free month of Success Society. Success Society is a coaching program where I do a weekly accountability call every single Monday night with about 100 to 150 other insurance agents that want to do live Q&A with me. We make it a forum, a huge go-to meeting where everyone's turning on their video and we're all interacting. It's amazing. It's fun. Okay. There's a lot of other stuff that comes with Success Society secret Facebook group, weekly accountability call, private party at 8%. Like there's a lot of cool stuff when you're a part of Success Society, okay? So a free month of that if you join the membership today. Also, I'm gonna add a live Q&A with me, with every single member, live Q&A for all the members within the next week. In the next several days, I'm gonna do a private live Q&A with me and with all the members because I've been getting asked to do that quite often okay so thank you so much for being on this appreciate you being a part of it okay so make sure you join that membership today so let's dive in all right i first want to talk about personal development and self-improvement okay you're on this because you care about getting better you care about being a master of your craft you realize there's no plan b that plan b only distracts from plan a right you get that you need to be a better version of you before you can really start making some dough okay so we understand that we get that all right I'm going to share some things that I've personally, I've, I've personally, I personally invest $30,000 per year on a coach. Okay. We have a lot of companies okay, that are, that are, that are paying us on retainer to help them be better. Okay. I believe in it. I'm not going to sell something that I don't believe. Okay. We, I, I also have spent probably in the last 12 months, about $40,000 on actual tickets to events. Events have changed my life, okay? When we talk about sales training, over the last probably 18 months or so, I've probably spent um, about $15,000 on sales training for our team, okay? I've been to several private events and retreats, 
okay, which probably costed me about 12,000 bucks, right? I've been to private masterminds with seven, eight, and nine figure earners, and I've spent uh, just on one, just on one, I spent 25,000 bucks, okay? So, so you get the idea, right? I've also hired plenty of coaches in the past that aren't business related, that are related to a certain topic that I want to get better at. And I've probably spent, um, I would say about, I would say only about, probably only about 20 grand on that, okay? And these are all over the last year to 18 months, okay? So, so what's the point? Why am I bringing this up? Because, because if I'm you, if I'm you and I want to learn something new, if I'm you and I want to learn something new or I want to be great at something, here's what, here's the steps. Here's the steps to, here's the steps to improve you or your company in a certain area. Okay. Make a decision on what you want to be great at. Okay. Maybe it's telesales. Fantastic. Right. That's a decision. Okay. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just a decision in that respect. I'm trying to get the light out of the way. Okay. Close enough. Okay. A decision, right? Make a decision on here's what I want to be great at. Okay, then find the person that can help you get better at it like this. Okay, telesales mastery webinar. A lot of people want to be great at phone sales. And then pay for knowledge. Okay, I'm not a hypocrite. I have spent more money on personal development and self-improvement than anyone else in our industry that I know of. Okay, that I know of. All right, I can't guarantee that to be... 100% true versus everyone in the whole country that's in our industry. But I know of everyone that's in my circle, in my network, everyone I know, I've spent more money on, on making me better, on learning. On, on like When we want to do something in our company, okay, I go pay an expert to know what they know. And that's kind of how this thing works. And that's why we've released a Telesales Mastery webinar because, and, and we've got it to where you can, you know, join without having to pay the $300 joining fee right now. Okay, because everyone needs to get great at what they want to get great at. And I don't believe that everyone can get great at whatever they want to get great at, but it's a decision. And most people don't make a decision to get great. Most people make a decision to be mediocre. Most people won't actually pull out their wallet, their credit card, right? Not, not chapstick, but, but their credit card and throw it down and say, I want to get better. I'm committed to improving. Because what happens is when you'll spend money on yourself, when you'll spend money on personal development, when you'll spend money on self-improvement, when you'll spend money on getting great, you are committed at another level. And you are committed. You're more committed than, than your supposed competition when you will spend money and put money where your mouth is. Because I used to say, I want to be great, but I wouldn't put my money where my mouth was. So how much did I really believe that I was going to ever get great? I actually didn't believe it at all because I wouldn't put my money where my mouth was. Okay, now I'm committed to doing that in the biggest way possible. And I do that as much as anyone in our industry. Okay, so again, you can join today for the membership. I'll waive the fee. You'll get a free month of Success Society, unbelievable group, and you'll get a live Q&A within the next several days. Okay, so the link's there. Feel free to join. Appreciate those that have joined so far during this. Okay, so thank you. All right, so let's jump in, all right? We're going to go over objections today. I want to talk about the psychology of objections. When you think about an objection, what comes to mind? And I want you to fill the I want you to fill the questions today with a lot of things. Also, Brett added um, final expense telesales with Ramiz Hakeem. That's right. He let us put his, his telesales videos in there. Um, health insurance telesales with Brad. The Harvard Business Review on the best ways to to handle leads. Multiple discounts for dialers and CRMs. We added all that to the membership this week and more. Well, you know, there's a lot more. We, we probably can't even mention it all. Okay. So what is an objection? I want you to think through the psychology of objections because I, th I think what a lot of people struggle with is the psychology behind what I'm talking about. A lot of people struggle with what an objection actually is. Do you struggle with that? And as you have questions today, put them in the Put, 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 put them in the chat. Ask some questions today because I'm going to interact. I'm going to do some live role playing later. So please give me some examples of some objections that you don't like. Okay. Because there's a whole psychology to this. Back when I listened to Brian Tracy's 
the art of closing the cell. I listened to that about a decade ago and I would turn it on in my car and I would listen to that thing every, I would listen to that thing every single day in my car and I would get to where, I would get to where every day I was listening to something to get better. I was listening to something to improve. I was listening to something to make me, to make me a better person. Okay, appreciate the kind words. Appreciate you guys sharing this and tagging me at Cody.Askins on Instagram, at Cody.Askins. I'm gonna pick a couple of you that do share this on Facebook or Instagram, and I'm gonna do something special for you. Okay, I'm gonna reach out and do something special for you. Maybe you'll end up with one of these 8% Nation pop sockets. Okay, if you want one of those, make sure that you reach out. Uh, we're gonna be adding them to our store very soon. Okay, so I appreciate the kind words and the messages. Um, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I get excited when I start talking about objections. Like most people don't like objections, okay? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a secret to closing. I'm gonna give you a secret to closing and remind me if I forget, I'm gonna give you a secret to closing at the end of this webinar in about 44 minutes, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my board right now, okay? I've got some notes right here, okay? I'm not leaving for long. I've got some notes right here that I'm looking at, okay? I've got a, some notes and an agenda that I'm looking at right here, and I added that to my notes so that in 43 minutes, if I don't mention, if I don't, thank you, Stephen, if I don't mention that secret to closing, if you're still on in 43 minutes, I'm gonna add that, okay? So the psychology of objections. I'm a believer that everyone is wired a certain way. Okay, I'm a believer that everyone does things the similar way, right? I'm, I'm a believer that we're creatures of habit. Okay, thank you for sharing. Appreciate that. I'm a believer that, and we've had several people, the, the, the attendee number keeps going up today, so thank you for that. Um, team, please watch the max number again because we're getting very close today, okay? I'm a believer, I'm a believer that human nature plays a part in objections. So let me give you some examples. When I go to Best Buy and I walk in, I always use this example quite a bit, and I go walk in and they say, can I help you? What does everyone always say? What does everyone always say? Just looking. You're not looking. You walked in to buy. Just like when you're actually making phone calls. It's human nature to say, hello, is this Betty? That's the wrong way to start the phone call. But it's human nature and nobody knows better. So that's just, that's just what we say because we've heard it mentioned a thousand other times. Okay, It becomes human nature that that's just what people do. Right, I got my my CA Think Big socks on today. Yeah, I'm I'm big on personal branding. Eight percent polo. Like I showed you the pop socket. Right. I don't know about you guys, but if you've got a local office and a local market, and you're look, you, you need. Thank you, Tara, for joining. You need to be branding yourself and your message. Okay. You really, really, really do need to be doing that. All right. Thank you for putting some of the top um, things that are coming in. I have all of this. Um, good. Oh, good, good, good. Those are objections. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. I'll make sure that I address those objections with some live role play. That makes it easier for me, Brett. Thank you so much because there's hundreds of questions already and it's impossible to get through those. But if you put them in the chat, that really helps. Okay. Also, like, like how you were raised, I believe, impacts how you respond to objections. I actually, I fully believe in that. Okay, so so when Sirius XM calls me, for example, and and and, and I don't know, I use them as an example because they just freaking call everyone all the time. And 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 they say, Kevin, thank you for joining. And they say, you know what? Um, hello, is this Cody? No, 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 no. No, you, you you have the wrong number. This is not him. This is not him. Does that ever happen? Do you guys ever lie to anyone? But if they would have said, Cody, 
I wouldn't have said this isn't Cody because they already knew it was Cody and they would have said it confidently. Therefore, I would have just agreed with them and been like, yeah, what's up? But instead, because they worded incorrectly and they said, is this Cody? I said, no. I've lied to a telemarketer before, as we all have, all right? It's a little secret. It's a private group. Nobody will know. Just, just me and you, okay? Just me and you. That happens. But it happens because it's human nature to do it that way. There's a lot of bad habits that people have that you're going to have to break to get great at this. I had to break a lot of bad habits to get really good at sales. But the thing is that most people don't realize is you have to notice the bad habits. You have to understand the bad habits. And you have to get to where you are self-aware of the bad habits that you have. And by being a part of this, it'll make you self-aware of some of the habits that you have. Right now, a lot of you are taking notes right now. I can see it and not actually see it, but you get the idea. And a lot of you are like, oh, that's a bad habit. Oh, that's a bad habit. You're going to notice a dozen bad habits today that a lot of you have that, that you haven't broken yet. Okay. When someone calls me, when someone calls you and they say, is this, is this Greg, do, do you lie to them? You know, do you say this isn't me? You probably do, right? So, so if, if you're doing it to, to someone that's calling you, do you think the prospect could be doing the same thing to you that you may be doing to other people? And the answer is yes, 100%. Okay. When I asked my wife to dinner, babe, what, what do you want to eat? What does everyone say? I don't know. You pick. I'm not sure. No, I don't know. You know, like that's human nature. It's natural to respond that way. Everyone does. I remember when I was in a, uh, I remember when I was in a home in, um, actually, I got, an, I, I got another similar story, um, whether it be face-to-face -face or phone sales. Okay, I have several stories that relate to specifically this topic. And I would be, I would be talking to a prospect and then and I would ask them, hey, do you know where you're, you know, policy is, right? There's better ways to ask that question, okay? And I would ask the question and they would say, you know what, um, I, I don't know. Why do they say I don't know? Because it's human nature. It's human nature to say I don't know and no. It's human nature to be negative. It's human nature to not answer questions. It's human nature that even if I hear the question say, what did you say? You know, or no, or I'm not sure. But I didn't even really actually, it didn't even register. Like I knew the answer, but I chose not to answer. You know, that stuff happens all the time in sales. So the, I'll ask the prospect and they'll, they'll where, where, where's your policy? And they'll say, I don't know. And I said something back in probably 2014 that changed my life forever. And I said, he said, I don't know where the policy is. And I said something that made zero sense, but it worked and I still use it today. And some of you have heard this before. And I said, if, if you knew where it was, where would it be? And some of you are laughing right now. If, because when I do this to, to in front of a room, when I'm speaking, you know, the, the room laughs. If you knew where it was, where would it be? And then, and then, and then the individual, the, the prospect will say, well, and, and this is a real scenario, by the way, this actually happened. And the prospect will say, well, if I knew where it was, and you're thinking, they're probably going to say, I would have told you. Nope. If I knew where it was, it would probably be in my filing cap. And I, I remember being face to face. Um, half a dozen years ago and, and 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 I'm saying okay filing cabinet you talking about that one you know yeah 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 is it okay if I open it yes okay is it you think it's in the it would it be in the top drawer you think yes right open it up there's the policy okay I remember on I remember doing Doug thank you for joining I remember doing phone sales okay I remember doing phone sales and I would ask someone a question I don't know if you knew, what would you say? Well, if I knew, I'd probably say this. 
Are you picking up on something today? This is huge, by the way, especially for telesales, huge. Eight seconds before, they didn't know, but now they know. Weird, right? Guess what? It's human nature. It's totally human nature. I believe in the power of hypotheticals. If you're taking notes today, write this down. I believe in the power of hypotheticals. I believe that when you use hypotheticals, it brings someone to a hypothetical, hypothetical state, and then they're more likely to make a decision. That's what I believe to be true. I've seen it time and time again. It, it's worked for agents all the time, and they tell me. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. I don't know if you knew, what would you say? And then they make a decision, why? Two reasons, because you're putting them in a hypothetical situation and because you're asking them a follow-up question. So I believe in hypotheticals and I believe in always asking the follow-up question. Most agents, okay, thank you, Mr. Meyer. Most agents, appreciate you joining. Most agents, Never ask a follow-up question. Listen to me now, this is really important right here, what I'm about to say. Most agents most agents they move on. They ask a question, the person says, they give them a human nature answer and they say, I don't know or no, and then they move on. I'm telling you that is not okay. You are tricked. Trust me on this. The psychology, here's the psychology behind that. Okay. I'm big in sales psychology. You can't tell already. What, what you're telling the prospect is I'm asking you a question. You're not answering. It's okay to never answer me ever again. It's okay that when I ask you a question to not make a decision. It's okay that when I tell you this to just ignore me. It's not okay for them to ignore you. You are training them to, that when you speak, they don't have to make a decision. That's setting up, you're setting up future failure in the close. Trust me on that. You're setting up future failure in the close. If you're taking notes again, you're setting up future failure in the close. Okay, Tracy, thank you for joining. Again, if you join today in the, in the Telesales Mastery Membership, the link's in chat. I'm waiving the $300 fee. I'm giving you a free month of Success Society and I'm doing a live Q&A with the group in the next several days, a private live, but you got to be a member to get it. Okay, you're, you're, you're setting up, you're setting up for future failure in the close. I believe in always asking a follow-up question. I've said this before. When I travel, I talk about this a lot. Also, when, when, when I go and I'm driving around my neighborhood, okay, when I'm driving around my neighborhood and I wave at a neighbor and they do not wave back. Guess what? Right? I'm rolling around. I'm, I'm, I'm waving at a neighbor. Nothing irritates me more than someone not waving back. Dobson, thank you. Nothing irritates me more than someone not waving back. So here's what happens. I stop my car and I keep waving until they wave back. Why? Because I want, when I ask a question, when I ask someone to do something, when I do something, I expect them to answer me. That's one of the most powerful things you can ever do from a sales perspective. That's one of the most powerful things you can ever do from a sales perspective. It's super, super powerful. I was working with a, I was training, I was training a, so, all, so use hypotheticals and always ask a follow-up question. I was training a State Farm team the other day. And when I was training the State Farm team um, out of New York, they're probably, one, they're probably the top office in the state of, state of New York. Unbelievable group, awesome team, I love them. And I'm training them and, and they're saying that they're getting objections like, Ooh, I don't want to talk about life insurance. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't want to talk about this. Like, I don't want to talk about life insurance on my kids. Like, people are saying, I don't want to talk about life insurance. And they don't know what to say, you know? I'm about to, I'm about to go over specifically how to get better at objections, okay? 
one of the first things you have to do is realize that what is the number one rule of sales? What is the number one rule? Even if you guys have heard a little bit of this before, it doesn't matter. You need a refresher, right? Which is why you're on. Okay, Jesse, thank you for joining. The number one rule of sales, right? What is it? What is it? It's two. Did some of you guess it correctly? It's to agree. The number one rule of sales is to agree. 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 Most people aren't agree aren't in agreement enough. It's natural to be combative, to be disagreeable, to be negative, to get angry when someone does, when when someone gives you an objection, right? The number one rule of sales is to always agree. So I trained the state farm team the other day too. When someone says, ooh, I don't like talking about life insurance. I'm with you. I don't like talking about either. However, because of everything going on in the world right now, we are getting more people attempt to qualify for life insurance right now than we've ever seen. So because of the high demand and because everyone else is doing it too, I naturally assumed that even though we don't want to talk about it, we should. And I'm assuming you have some type of coverage somewhere. Right? Textbook. Textbook. It follows what, what I'm about to share with you, which is the three-step process to overcome any objection. Okay? Agree with them. Right? Dude, I don't like you. I understand. Most people don't until they get to know me. You know? I'm pretty hardcore, and I apologize for that. But while I got you on the phone, let me ask you this. Textbook. And the thing is, a lot of people watching right now can do what I'm talking about right now. You can do what I'm doing. When you hear something, all right, Carla, thank you for joining. When you are hearing this, you can do it too. It isn't rocket science. But most people don't actually prepare and train hard enough to really get good at it. I used to be really bad at objections. I'm also going to give you a secret at the end in about 27 minutes on, on, on why I was actually better at it than most people and why I'm ridiculous at it today on overcoming objections and closing. Okay. Chesty, thank you for joining. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over that secret and it's unflipping believable. Also, the recordings of this, of all these webinars, are in the membership. If you didn't know it and you're trying to reference it and you're trying to go back and watch it, you can't. You gotta go in, you gotta be in the membership to get access to all these recordings. Okay. So what does that look like for you? When you're hearing these objections, what are you thinking? When you're hearing these objections, what's your number one go-to? When you're hearing these objections, what, what comes to mind? When someone gives you an objection, they're like, hey, I'm not interested. Are you pausing? Are you hesitating? Are you not know what to do? Or do I know what to say? Are you thinking, oh, crap? Or are you prepared? I'm hoping that it ain't pausing and, 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 and not knowing what to do or what to say, right? I'm hoping that you're using some confidence because here, here's the, here's the three-step process that I use and that I train to overcome objections. First step, agree. How do you agree with what they're saying, right? I don't need life insurance. Saying everyone needs life insurance is disagreeing. It's true, but it's disagreeable. Right. The, well, they're going to be totally turned off at you when you say. Well, if they say I don't need it, and you're like, that's stupid. They're not going to buy from you. Right. Like, what's the point? I wouldn't buy from you either if you did that. Like a lot of insurance agents in our industry are trained that when someone says I'm not interested, we're trained to say, well, what do you mean you're interested? You don't have enough information to be interested yet. That's really dumb. But that's how a large majority of the companies actually train their sales force. You were probably trained that way back when you first started as an agent. Mark, thank you for joining. 
You were probably trained that way back when you first got in the business. Get the idea? Always, always, always agree. I'm gonna give a bunch of live role play examples later, right? Cody, I don't have time. I'm with you. I don't have time either. They keep me so freaking busy. However, I'll be brief. While I got you on the line, let me ask you a quick question. Boom. Textbook. Okay, agree. Always, always, always agree. I don't care what it is. It doesn't mean you you 100%. It doesn't mean that you're on their side of the fence with whatever they're saying. It means that you under at least are trying to understand where they're coming from. Okay. I'm not saying to change your beliefs, right? Because a lot of, a lot of, a lot of sales trainers out there, I hate this. A lot of sales trainers out there are like, just morph your personality to theirs, you know? And when they say something, uh, just change your beliefs and, 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 and admit that you love what they're saying, right? They say a lot of prospects say a lot of dumb stuff that I don't I don't believe, but I can understand where they're coming from. And if they've got a dull personality, I'm not gonna change my exciting personality to be dull just so that I can morph into this creature that makes sales based on like different personality types, you know? I'm gonna be me. And I'm gonna do my best to sell them. And it won't always work out perfectly. Whiffin, thank you for joining. Appreciate that very much. Okay. So think about that for a second. A lot of people are trained the wrong way. There's a lot of people outside of our industry and inside of our industry that are training people the incorrect way. I learned a lot of this stuff quick. When I made 117 grand in my first eight months, cold calling and cold door knocking. I had to learn a lot of this stuff the hard way. I did. Yeah, was I a natural with a lot of stuff? Sure. Okay. But that doesn't mean that you can't become a natural at something. Like, I'm a believer that no matter how awful you think you are, no matter how far away from greatness you are, that you think, no matter how far, or how, how dif difficult it seems, right? I'm a believer that you can get there and end up being great at that topic. I'm sold on it. I know it to be true. I'm confident in it. Okay, agree. I'm gonna change this today actually, because I normally use the other one, right? Acknowledge. Normally it's answer, right? It's the same. Okay, for telesales, I'm, there's a reason I'm using acknowledge, okay? Same idea, same thing, same theory. It could be a great answer, that's fine. But really, what you're doing is you're acknowledging that you heard them. You're ignoring without blowing them off. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. You're acknowledging them. I hear you. That's it, right? That's why this three-step process works. Because most people, when they say stuff, or when they vent, or when they're upset, or when they're negative, or when something's going on in their life, it's human nature, again, human nature, to just want to vent, right? So, so like, when, when, my, like, when my wife wants to talk, she don't want me to solve the problem. That took me a long time to, to get, by the way. Like, years and i'm still probably don't totally get it right but she don't she she does not want me to solve the problem she just wants me to hear her out most people just want someone to hear them out most people just want someone that has some empathy most people just want someone that cares most like i, I had a i had a comment on a youtube video years ago when i said that you shouldn't ask how are you, you know, and all this stuff. And, and the, the agent's like, every person I ever talk to knows how much I care about them in the first couple seconds. I'm like, eh, come on, bro. Like, they need to know that you care, but let's get real, right? Let's get real, okay? Acknowledge. Ask. Ask a question. Finish with a question. Askins. 
finish with a question. Agree, acknowledge, and ask. Agree, answer, and ask. Just ask. Get in control. That, that's what this comes down to. That's what most that's what most people don't get is the main things with objections is is I need to be agreeable and I need to pivot so that I can get back in control. That's the full psychology to it. I'm giving you these three steps so that you can remember this and it's simple. I don't we're building out a massive university and curriculum right now that will blow people's mind when it's done. But most people don't get, most people don't get that a lot of this stuff is extremely simple. The biggest thing I wanna stress right now is that whatever they're telling you early in the call, they do not mean it. It's made up and you need to get great at ignoring the stupid stuff that people say to start a call, okay? That's the real psychology behind it, is when they say I'm not interested, they don't even know anything yet. Hear me out. I'm not interested. Dude, I hadn't said anything, bro. Like, come on. I'm broke. Homeless people have money. I didn't do it. We both know they did. They know they did. I can't qualify. They don't know what product you have to offer yet. Right? They don't know anything. I already have coverage. Fan freaking tastic. I prefer that they already have coverage. They believe in it more. Wonderful. I don't make I, I don't make decisions. Right, my wife, my, my daughter handles that. Cool. You're gonna get to talk to your daughter, you know? Uh, call me back. Come on, really? You think they actually want you to call them back? They want you to never call them back again. When they, from now on, when you hear, call me back. I want you to hear, never call me again. They're just trying to blow you off. That's it. That's it. That's all that's accomplished right here and right now. That's it. Okay. I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this on Instagram and I'm going to share this on Instagram or, or Facebook and I want you guys to do the exact same thing. Tag me right now. We got hundreds of agents on this webinar. If you're not on this webinar, you should have been. Okay. You got to always be marketing your product. You got to always be getting in front of people. What else do, are they say? Like, like for example, when they say I'm busy, I don't answer the phone when I'm busy. Sorry, right? I don't answer the phone. I don't answer the phone when I'm busy. Okay. I don't answer the phone when I'm busy. I gotta get this thing blown up. It's running out of air. I don't I don't pick it up, right? Ring, 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 ring. Cody's extremely busy. You think I answer the phone? No. Do you think if I was, do you think if I did answer the phone? And Greg called me, Steve called me, Dixon called me, right? But and I said I'm busy. My wife's calling me. I pick up. Do you think I would tell her I'm busy? I would, no, I would respond with a text, man. Like, come on. The main thing I wanna to stress today that very few people in our, in our industry are stressing is that when someone gives you an objection or they say something, they don't actually, Patty, thank you for joining. They don't actually mean it. They don't mean what they're telling you. People don't mean what they're saying. It's human nature. It's psychology. It ain't real. Quit hearing it. Also, here's a massive, Kimberly, thank you for joining. It's also a massive, massive problem.
problem, massive problem, that when they give you an objection, when they give you an objection and they say, call me back, and I say, absolutely, when can I call you back? That objection is now valid. Here's a couple things most, most people don't teach, okay? You, you can make an objection valid by hearing it. You can, make it a, you can make it valid by actually making it real. It's not real. Stop making it real, okay? That's the first thing. Also, here's another thing that most people don't tell you, all right? I promise, this, I guarantee this will be one of the best sales trainings that you've ever been a part of today right i'm pointing out all the stops when they give you two different objections like i'm busy and i'm not interested i'm busy i don't have any money i'm not interested i don't have any money i didn't do it and i'm not interested right if they give you two different objections neither are true because you don't give two different ones Nobody gives two different objections. If they do, they're really trying to get off the phone. So they're gonna make up multiple lies to get you to believe it, because they're like, all right, the more lies I tell this dude, the, the more likely he is gonna believe it. So hey, I'm not interested, I'm busy, couldn't you call me back, and I don't have any money, and I don't know if I can afford it anyway, and I gotta talk to my wife, and I don't have time. Oh, and I already have coverage. Okay. <laughs> Like, the more they think, the more lies they tell you, the more you're going to believe it and the more valid it's going to become. It ain't, it, it, that's definitely not the case. I know that person's actually easier to sell because let me tell you this. My easy, my, my, my best clients, my best clients gave me objections. Hear that again. My best clients gave me objections my best clients gave me objections if they don't give me an objection no objection no objection and they buy i'm very 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 concerned because that ain't normal and also what does that mean they're gonna buy from every other agent that calls them they're gonna call, they're gonna buy from the next agent that ain't as good as I am. They're gonna buy from the next agent that ain't as good as you because they just buy from people. They don't put up a fight. There's no objections, and they just do business with you right away. And it's really easy. And it's you know it's really it's simple for you. That is ridiculous. I don't even want the client. Everybody else can have them. I'm not gonna end up with them very long anyway, right? You get the idea. The more, the, uh, the harder they are to sell, hear this, the harder that they are to sell, the better of a client they will be. The harder they are to sell, the better of a client they will be. I remember my biggest clients ever, my best clients ever, the ones I had the best relationship with long term, they gave me the most objections. They wanted me to follow up harder. They made it tougher on me to do business with them immediately. I know that to be true. And you should know it to be true too. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Jake, thank you for joining. All right, again, Today only, you join this Telesales Mastery membership. I'm giving away, I'm, I'm, I'm waiving the $300 joining fee. I'm giving away a free month of Success Society, and I'm doing a live Q&A in the next several days with just the members. I don't dodge questions, I answer questions, and I'm gonna prove it live on camera with the members, okay? Think about this, think about this, think about this. Quit making objections valid. If you give two different ones, nothing is true and they're just trying to play hard to get if they give you no objections then they buy that worries me if they're harder to sell they're better right people don't teach you guys this most people don't know this stuff a lot of people on this call have never heard some of this 
Agree, answer, and ask. Agree, acknowledge, and ask. The psychology here is if you finish with a, with a question, you're more likely to actually get back in control. That's the point of always finish with a question. When I'm using the telephone, I finish with a question 100% of the time. Very, very difficult to do. Very, very difficult to do. Very, very difficult to do. Okay? We had, we had an agent that joined the membership. We had an agent that joined the membership recently, and they just put up a post. Um, well, number one, their team did 22,000 this past week, okay, which is that was actually only in the first four days. We also had another agent that had never made had never made any sales before, and on April 6th, he made his first telesale ever because he joined the membership. And then he made two more sales on April the 8th because he joined the membership. People are making money by joining and by being a part of this membership. So I want you to picture this. I want you to picture this. When someone gives you an objection, okay? When someone gives you an objection, I want you to think about them just dropping a giant boulder between you and them, okay? A giant boulder between you and them. What's happening is a lot of insurance agents are trying to fight through, they're trying to fight through that boulder. Jacoby, thank you for joining, buddy. Instead, you need to just walk around it. Back on the path to the cell. Most people make this way too complicated. They fight with they fight with clients. They they argue with prospects. You know, Nelson, thank you for joining. Sam, thank you for joining. They argue with people. They don't know what to do. They're not sure how to handle stuff. That's these are the steps. These are the steps to start to overcome whatever objections anybody ever tells you. Whatever objections anyone ever tells you. Let me, let me go, th go over a few of these objections and then I'll get to my secret for closing that I promised I would go over in a couple more minutes. Okay. I have all the life insurance that I need. Excellent. It's simply my job to get you the information, especially with all these new programs that are better than a lot of the old ones. So tell me this, how long have you actually had what you have? Agree, answer, and ask, right? Thank you, Michael. I don't do anything quickly. I need some time to think about this. I'm with you. I actually recommend that you do a lot of thinking, and I'm going to help you do some thinking. I can guarantee you that, okay? So tell me this. Help me out. Which specific portion do you need to think the most about? Obviously, you have a lot to think about, but what do you need to think about the most? Good, right? Okay, good, 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 Byron. We don't have a job right now, so now is not the right moment. Martha, I'm with you. I completely agree. It's very difficult. Most people, right, never have the perfect time to own insurance. It's crazy, right? But right now is the best time ever to apply. Because what most people don't know, Martha, is you actually qualify with your health. You don't buy life insurance with money. You buy life insurance with health. There's a lot of people who have a lot of money right now that can't get it. And they wish they could. But you can. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if we can get you qualified. Because that's the most important part. Sound fair enough? Great question, Martha. I really need to talk with my wife about this. Michael, yes, absolutely. You will get a chance to talk to your wife. I guarantee it. What got you thinking about this today? Boom, right? Due to this pandemic, I'm out of work and not going to start a policy when I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back to work. Daquan, I totally understand, right? That's exactly what I would do. Man, that's exactly what I would do. The good news is we can actually set your first payment out. That's what a lot of people are doing right now because more people are trying to qualify for life insurance than I've ever seen because of everything that's going on in the world. And obviously, I wanted you to know about this. And right now, we need to see if we can get you approved because you can't get approved. You can't have it anyway. And I don't know if you'll be able to get it. Are you with me? Does that make sense? 
Agree, answer, ask, agree, acknowledge, ask, right? It's simple. Gerard says, I, I, I had $12,000 of annual premium last week using what I learned from last Saturday's call. And it was free. Gerard, that's amazing, buddy. Round of applause for Gerard. That's huge, man. I love that. Thank you, buddy. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Here's how I want to finish today. I'm going to give you five minutes to join the membership, and I'm going to go over the secret to closing that I promised you that I would go over. All right. Again, this is right now is your chance to join. I'm going to go over the secret. Okay. I'm going to go over the secret. I'm going to go over this closing secret. I'm going to release it in about 30 seconds. All right. So stay with me. Right now, when you join, I'm waiving the $300 fee. I'm giving you a free month. I just combined the word free and month of Success Society. And I'm doing a live Q&A with the members. When you join today, here is what you get. Okay. When you join today, here's what you get. Now, let me jump to the secret. Okay. Let me jump to the closing secret. You got five minutes to join, and here's what you get. All right. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. So here's the secret that I want to talk about. I was on the phone with a agent out of California back in probably September of 2018, okay, a couple years ago. And I was on the phone with this agent about coming to 8% Nation, all right? And the agent said, well, this is good, but I need to think about it. And I need, need you to call me back, okay? There's a massive secret in what I'm about to say. Stay with me, okay? And I said something that changed the way that I train today. Because I believe, I believe when you're closing, you have to have confidence, you have to have certainty, and you have to have this closing secret. I told the agent that said, I want to think about this. I said, do prospects tell you that? When you're selling, do you ever have issues with prospects wanting to think about it as well when you're selling insurance to them? He said, yeah, all the time. Kim, thank you for joining. He said, they, they see, he, the agent said, all the time. That happens all the time. I have trouble with people. Probably, I have trouble closing people. Everyone wants to think about it. Everyone wants to call me back. I'm not sure. I'm about to give you the secret. I'm about to give you the secret. You're going to carry this for the rest of your life. I'm telling you, this changed. I have a ridiculous closing rate because of what I'm about to tell you. I'm about to give you the secret. Hopefully, you'll share it on social media. Because other people need to know the secret, right? Here's the secret. You sell. You will always sell. Listen to me here. You will, quote me on this, you will always sell. The same way that you buy. Quote me on this. You will all, I'm gonna get a t-shirt made with this thing on it. Okay. You will always sell the same way that you buy. If you think about stuff, you'll be a worse closer. If you don't take action on stuff when there's opportunity, you'll be a worse closer. If you think about stuff, you'll be a worse closer. I became a better salesperson when I started buying houses the first time I saw. When I started buying cars without even seeing them and making the dealership come to me and negotiate over the phone, right? I'm like, dude, take it or leave it. I'll go somewhere else. But I buy cars all the time. And here's the way I buy cars. Either you morph your process to fit me, right? We ain't doing business together. But I'm going to make you an offer on this car today. So if you like the thought of that, 
then show up with the freaking car. I committed to go to 10X2 in Vegas, 15,000 bucks. Cardone's event a couple years ago. First time it was brought up in his office. Committed the 25K mastermind while I was still at 10X. I committed to spend another 22 grand this year because I was there, right? I committed to a business coach while I was on a retreat. I committed to uh, training my team with, with universities and all that. The, 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 the moment I knew it was the right decision. I committed to another um, coach that I saw on a podcast that I knew I needed in my life because he knew a ton about something I wanted to get great at. I went to his website and just like figured out how to pay. Right. It wasn't easy. I had to like climb my way around his site and all his landing pages. I bought the first offer that came up. Then another upsell came up, limited time upsell. I bought the upsell. And now I'm like, dude, can I give you some more money? I became great at selling the moment I stopped thinking about stuff. How you buy is the way that you will sell. If you if you if you like to think about stuff, then clients will feel that when you're selling. I make decisions instantly i don't think about stuff i don't need to think about it i don't need to call you back right because and, and because i buy like that that is how i sell michael thank you for joining because i buy like that that's how i sell clients don't think about stuff with me because of my level of certainty they I, they know that i buy like that because that's how i sell I'm telling you, if you think, if, if, you, if, if, you, if you have analysis paralysis, you have to know everything before you do anything. That's a, that's a limiting belief. That's going to hold you back. If you believe that you need to think about stuff before you make decisions, it will affect your ability to influence others to make decisions on the spot. Everyone has a gift. My gift is getting people to make decisions immediately. And I'm telling you, if you want to master phone sales, you have to get great at getting people to make decisions on the first call. You have to get great at this. That's the secret to closing, man. That's the secret. Whether you believe it or not, some of you are going to totally ignore it. Some of you are going to think I'm, gonna think I'm flipping insane. I'm telling you, okay? Mr. Hill, thank you for joining. I'm telling you, that is the secret. Mike, thank you for joining. James, thank you for joining. That is the secret. How you buy will influence how you sell. I don't think about stuff ever anymore. And because that is in my DNA, it's my belief, I'm certain about it, that is how I sell. I get people to make decisions on the spot. Jennifer, thank you, because that is how I buy. I promise you this. If you could ever change anything in your life, also, there's another reason why this is such a big secret, because I don't have all these looming decisions going on that I'm thinking about, because I make decisions as fast as humanly possible, and I'm not always like looming on all these decisions that are filling my head and, and slow me down. I have more clarity. I have more focus, and I get a lot more done because I'm not thinking about all these decisions that are going on in my brain right now. I make a decision, I move on, I make mistakes, wonderful. You're always gonna make mistakes, you can't eliminate them. So make them fast. How you buy will impact how you sell. I'm a firm believer in that, okay? So today only, all right, a couple more minutes. Today, when you join the membership, I'm waiving the fee. I'm throwing in Success Society for free and I'm doing a live Q&A in the next several days, okay? Now is the time for you to join this Telesales Mastery membership, all right? This is Telesales Mastery 3.0, okay? First week, two and a half hours, and that's insane. Last week was over an hour and a half. It was like an hour and 45 minutes, all right? I don't know how much longer this one will go, but here's, here's one thing I do know. You need to master objections, and you need to master closing. You master those two things, it almost doesn't even matter what else you say, right? You can say a lot of stupid stuff, but if you know how to pivot back to, and, and get back in control when they say something they don't mean, hints an objection. And then you get people make you get people get you get good at getting people to make decisions on the first call. I'm telling you, you can write your own paycheck for the rest of your life. I'm gonna add a bunch of additional videos into the membership on these two topics. Okay, I just gave you some free stuff today. 
that everyone should know, right? If you guys don't have at least three pages of notes from today, then you're not as coachable as you think. I did a I did a initial strategy with a company the other day, and I ended up with four pages of notes. I want to be coachable. I want to get better. I want to improve. And I want the hundreds of people that are on this and the thousands that have been on this the last three weeks and the potential tens of thousands that will be on the Apris Nation virtual conference next Saturday to know that you can become a master at phone sales. You can become a master at insurance sales. You can become a master at whatever you want. The first step is you got to actually believe in yourself. Most people will never put their money where their mouth is. I believe in personal development, self-improvement. I believe in getting better. I believe in dominating the market. I believe in, 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 in destroying the supposed competition that can't keep up. I believe in, in working on Saturdays and success Saturday. I believe in staying focused. I believe in kicking off my day at 5 to, five to 6 a.m., with a workout, writing down my goals, learning, and a cold shower, because I know that routines matter, and I know that routines matter for you, okay? I'm also gonna throw out two other special free things today, all right, really quick. Feel free, if, if either one of these are true, if you want me to help your team, or even do like a free team training, or, or if you want a special private discount on 8% tickets, if either one of these are true, then email me. Cody at Cody Askins. Cody at Cody Askins. Probably one of the easiest emails in the world to remember. Cody at Cody All right. Again, last chance to join. Okay. Blanca, thank you. Lakita, thank you. Um, Mr. Rooney, thank you. Fishburn, Nelson, Sorrentha, Jacoby. Appreciate all you joining, Mark. Carla, Tracy, Doug, Meyer, Kevin, Tara. We've had a lot of people jump in on this membership, so thank you. We have over 200 members now in the membership. We've had agencies buy massive blocks of memberships for their whole entire agency. There's no doubt this is already going down. Is the best telesales membership on the planet. The tele, best telesales training system on the planet. And we're going to keep improving it. We're going to keep making better. Also, whatever we can add to make the membership more valuable for you, please keep us in the loop. We have a lot of people in this secret Facebook group. We have a lot of people in this secret Facebook group that are in this telesales mastery membership that, and already 126 of the 200 and something are already in the group. Um, the, the private Facebook group and they're letting us know about stuff that we should add. They're letting them know, let's know about stuff that they want discounts on. They're letting us know about stuff that we need to go ahead and make sure that we put in here because it's important to them and they need it and they want it and I get it. And we're gonna do everything we can to bring as much value as we possibly can. I'm committed to helping you get great. I'm committed to helping you see your full potential whether you see it or not. And every single day, I'm going to do my part to make you better, to make this industry more valuable, to give back to the industry more. I love and care about and I'm obsessed with the potential that this industry creates. 92% fell because it's ridiculously hard, but there's more millionaires in the financial services and insurance industry than any other industry on planet Earth. That's why there's a reason. And when I got into it, I didn't know how amazing of a career it really could be. I had no idea that when I was knocking 175 doors on a Friday or 200 doors on a Saturday,
Okay, Greg, thank you for joining. I didn't realize those things back then because I didn't know how amazing it was. And those that are newer in this industry, I'm telling you, there ain't a better place on the planet. You're in the right vehicle. Now hit the freaking gas pedal and let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through a few questions. I'm gonna go a few more minutes. Again, I'm gonna give you a few more minutes to join the membership. Um, I already answered that. I already answered that. Uh, make sure you put the link again. Charlene wants to join. Mm, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. That's a good one, Stephen. I like it. Um. Thank you for sharing that, Michael. That's so awesome. Uh, these are these are some good feedback too, by the way. Um, thank you for, for for allowing us to help you with your marketing, Jaquees. That's really awesome, um, Michael. I agree with you, buddy. I totally agree with you, man. Um, Okay, good. So here's a good question. Greg says, hey, Chody, does your training focus on Medicare or final expense or what is this on? Uh, we've got the most training on those two specific topics currently in the membership. However, we're adding additional stuff every single. We're adding health insurance. We're adding mortgage protection, phone sales. We're adding a lot of other stuff. Um, Mark says, absolutely love your passion, your energy. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Martha. That's so awesome. Um, why a cold shower? That's a great question, by the way. Uh, Marlo, thank you for joining. Um, I believe that a cold shower is valuable for, for, for three reasons. Number one, it, it is good for your health. Number two, it wakes you up big time. And number three, I know that if I start off my day with something hard, I'm more likely to do the other things that I don't want to do. I believe, like a lot of people are training everyone right now to not do stuff you don't want to do. I believe you have to do stuff you don't want to do, whether you believe it or not. I believe to get successful. There's the old adage, success people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. I believe that you have to do stuff you don't want to do to be and to get great. I'm a firm believer in that. And I know that when I start out my day with something that I don't like to do, it makes me way more mentally tough than a lot of people that I'm around in my life. And being mentally strong is the most important and most valuable piece of having success in anything. I believe it. Okay, Leonard, thank you for joining. I'm just sold on that. Um, I like that. I, I, you're very welcome. I, I, some somebody saying, "Hey, I appreciate you acknowledge people that are joining membership. That's really awesome and kind." Yeah, I, I'm. I, I think it's you know I think when people do stuff with you, you you know clients, prospects. I used to write handwritten thank you cards and new, send out newsletters to clients, all that stuff. Man, it's 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 powerful. It's impressive. Uh, people, more people need to be doing stuff like that. Like people like to be acknowledged. You know, like it's in it's in my objections handling process for crying out loud. Uh, in your opinion, can a person go to strictly to focus on telesales primarily even after all this corona stuff dies down? If you want to, you absolutely can. Um, what do you do when they never answer the phone? Triple dial three times in a day, follow up with nine calls in, in you know, 72 hours, and then add them to an email sequence um, after that so that you can email those people on that list three times a week and maybe they'll uh, get, get somewhere from there. Jason, how much do you charge for your personal coaching? Um, it varies, it is in the, it's more than, you know, it's in the thousands of dollars, you know, it's not a hundred bucks. Um, email me, Jason, Cody at Cody Askins, we'll put something together for you. Um, I mostly work with individuals that are trying to grow and get to multiple six figures or seven figures, 
or companies that are already at multiple six figures or seven figures that want to get to eight figures. Um, that's the two main things. Um, Martha says, I need help creating my own funnel to create leads. That's something that our marketing team handles from a campaign standpoint. We can manage it for, for a monthly management fee, or I can teach you how to generate your own leads um, with some personal coaching. So email me, uh, Cody at CodyAskins.com. Um, appreciate that. That's awesome. The private group for this is, uh, it's the name, Telesales Mastery Membership, um, that you have to be a member of. Uh, Donovan, what's up, buddy? Thank you, man. Awesome training. Great results. Um, Johnny says, awesome training. There's lots of junk out there. Glad to finally find someone who gets to the point and brings immediate solutions. Love the secret. So true. Dude, and, and you, you, you have the secret, by the way, whether you believe it or not. Um, I believe that you do, man. I really do. Uh, Charles, thank you for joining. Um, on Facebook, will you send out the invite for Success Society? Yes. Uh, my team will make sure we cover that team. Remember that? Okay. Um, I focus on health insurance. Does your training or Brad's focus on this? Yes. It does focus on health insurance telesales. Um, a lot of stuff I train on, you can use for that. You can use for any other product, okay? No matter what you sell, a lot of the training I do, you can use for other things, right? Like today, everything I talked about, you can use for anything you do in life, right? You can do use this stuff for selling cars. But also, we do have different people that are a part of my network that are adding content to help you sell different types of products because they ma they master it. Like Brad, he ma he, he's a master at selling health insurance, makes hundreds of thousands of dollars per year selling health insurance over the phone. And we, he has his own section in the membership, okay? Um, add the link in chat again, please. I want to join now. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you could only dial three hours a day, what three hours would you pick? Um, probably five thirty to eight thirty, four to seven, five to eight, something along those lines. Um, I would definitely do nights and weekends if that was the only time I had. Um, Anthony, thank you for joining. Um, is the 8% Nation program different from the new Telesales Master Membership? Yes, totally different. 8% Nation is a conference. We're doing a virtual conference and in-person conference in Vegas. Virtual is next week for free. Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street, I got him to be on the virtual along with a bunch of other incredible freaking speakers. It's unbelievable. Speaker lineup will blow your mind. And in Vegas, we have about 1,500 to 2,000 agents that are actually coming together um, because they want to network, they want to be better, they want to improve, they want to invest in themselves, and they want to get around people that are thinking bigger. Like my drive is influenced by getting around big time people. Um, what I love, Cody, about Cody Askins is the way you teach a framework that fits any scenario. That's from Jennifer. Thank you. Uh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. That's big. Uh, I love to hear that, you know. Um, Marlo says, will you be adding something for supplemental employee benefits? Uh, team, Andy, Brett, let's get on that. I'm good with that. Um, will, thank you for joining. Will the mortgage protection training be available? Um, Andy, let's get that up this week. My buddy Nate is selling like 15 grand a week right now of mortgage protection phone sales. So let's make him put a bunch of stuff in the membership. Um, that'll be awesome. Okay, that'll be good. We'll make sure we do that. Uh, I'm about to end. Okay, one last chance to join the membership to get all this stuff for, for, for free and waving everything. Um, Raymond, bro, just thanks for this. Keep it going. Talk soon. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I'm telling you what, I'm committed to helping you succeed. I'm going to be the one person in the industry it wants to help you succeed without actually having to recruit you. That's, you know, that's not what I do. I like training. I'm passionate about training and marketing and, and helping people succeed. And we're going to keep that moving and keep that rolling. Um, it is possible to have success without a website. Now, Secure Agent Marketing, my company that I own with Landon, does build websites. Peter, thank you for joining. Um, we do build websites. You do not have to uh, have a website to succeed. No. Uh, 
but if you're serious, you will eventually have one. Okay, that, you know. So, and I, I believe that. So, uh, that's why I'm adding it, right? Okay, I agree. Thank you, buddy. Tell I'm with you. I'm gonna keep it real, but I'm, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, straightforward that you don't have to have one immediately. Okay, um, we've still got hundreds of agents on right now. Appreciate being a part of today. Telesales Mastery 3.0. I'm thankful and grateful for everyone that chose to join the membership right now. Nicholas, thank you. That chose to join the membership today. Okay, I'm extremely grateful. I'm going to do everything in my power to deliver and to give you more and more and more and more and more and more and give you as much as I possibly can. Okay, I'm waiving the $300 fee. I'm giving away six, a, month, a month of Success Study for free and a live Q&A with the group, all right? Here's what I'm gonna do as well. We have 8%, if you, if you join during this, I'm gonna wave this stuff, okay? I'm, I'm gonna stall for a couple more minutes because I wanna go over something else. Rhonda, thank you, all right? Here's what, oh, okay, Will, thank you. Here's what I wanna go over. Also, please share this out on social media. Here's what I wanna go over really quick. I'm doing a, I'm, 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 I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend a half a million, 600,000, pr probably six to 800,000 on 8% Nation in Vegas. Please show up to the 8% Nation virtual conference for free. It's virtual, it's all day and it's just like this and it's next Saturday. Brett just added the registration link to register for that virtual conference. Please join and sign up and register for the virtual conference. I'm capping it at 10,000 agents. After that, it won't be free for anybody after that. We have thousands registered so far. Please sign up, it's free. We've got Jordan Belfort, we've got Marshall Silver, we've got Coach Burt, Tim Story, we got a, we've got Insurance Soup, we've got my buddy Ramiz, Nate Offert, my buddy Todd, we've got Ryan, we've got uh, Galen Hendricks, we've got Landon McCarter, my dad, um, Judge Graham and Matt Monero, two guys that sold, one, one dude that sold a $160 million company, another one that owns a $185 million company. They're both speaking of April Station Virtual, okay? Um, do not miss that, all right? Do not miss that. Um, please, uh, be on April Station Virtual next week. It's free. Please register. I need you there, okay? Um, thank you, Michael. I read about you, but I heard about you because of my, my buddy David Duford, who I respect a lot. Good stuff, Cody. Dave and I spoke multiple times this week. We're good friends. Um, I have a ton of respect for him, for him. I have a lot of respect for everybody in the industry that's doing stuff to try to help people. Like I'm, I'm someone that collaborates. Like I believe, I don't believe in in bad mouth anybody. I don't believe in, in not collaborating with everyone. Like I believe in bringing the industry together and 8% Nation has done that, right? There was a private private little Zoom, wasn't even private, it was last night, there was like 25, 30 people on this Zoom. There were some big time players in the industry that just got on to like hang out and talk and they, they asked me to be on it and jump in. And that was fun, right? But if we went into 8% Nation a couple of years ago, maybe that, maybe that wouldn't happen. Right, so I'm big on collaboration. I'm big on getting people together. I'm big on not only giving back, but I'm big on bringing people together in the industry. Like it's not, I don't believe in like isolating people and I hate them, I hate them, I don't want to do business with them, I don't like them, I don't like, I get along with everyone, right? I get along with everyone and I absolutely love it, you know? Um, I'm big on that, right? Okay, so again, if you want me to help your team or discount 8% tickets, you want me to help you with your leads or marketing, okay? Or you want me to help you with your leads or marketing, whether that be, whether that be, um, whether that be, you can get discounts on it in the membership. You can also pay me to consult you on it and teach you how to do it. You can have our marketing team manage it, right? There's a lot of options, okay? Email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com, and I'll make sure I get to those, all right? Okay? Please be on April Station Virtual next week. Thanks for being a part of, see how people, people joining. Sheldon, thank you for joining. Okay, Charles, Mr. Hughes, Mr. Novak, all right, Tom. Appreciate everybody that joined the membership today. Again, make sure you do that. $300 fee waived, free month of success society. 
which is normally a couple hundred dollars a month and a live Q&A, waving it all. Make sure you join today immediately. Thanks for being a part of the Telesales Mastery webinar for free. I'm gonna keep doing them because I love it and I wanna give back and I'm committed to helping insurance agents succeed. Show somebody today's training. Brandon, thank you for joining. Show someone today's training that needs it. I'm telling you. Today was one of the best trainings I feel like I've ever done. I hope you feel the same way. Please share this out on social, and I hope to see you at 8% Nation Virtual next week. Have a happy success Saturday, and thank you for being on today. And don't forget, go join the membership today. Appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for being on today. Let's go make some money. Let's get serious. Let's get hyped. Let's get crazy. Love you all. Thank you so much. I'm out. Hey, if you love this video, stop what you're doing. Click right there. I've got another phone sales videos with tips specifically for you to convert people over the phone. Click on that video and I'll see you there. Today, I want to talk about five easy phone sales tips that you can implement right away and see success with. Okay, so stay with me as I go through each one of these.